What's spiritual growth all about, or spiritual development? Is it about going deeper, or is it about going higher? Or is it transcending everything? You know, there are lots of different words put around spiritual growth and development, and some of it's really confusing. So today I want to talk about a simple way for understanding our spiritual growth and development and present sort of a model that, that will help understand and make it clear and a little bit simple. As I do, be sure to subscribe to this channel as well as click the bell so you're notified of future videos. So you know, there are lots of different paradigms and models that try to explain spiritual growth and development and do it in various ways. Some of them are really classic. You know, one of my favorite spiritual writers, a mystic, is Teresa of Avila. Teresa wrote this wonderful book called The Interior Castle and has a series of mansions that, that you pass through in your growth and development. And you know, without a map, I can't follow one to the other. Long before her was John Climacus. He used the image of climbing a ladder. His ladder had 16 rungs. That's a lot of steps. That's confusing and hard to remember too. More recently, psychologist William Fowler came up with stages of faith development. You know, it's linear and it's a little clearer, but it's a number of stages with different pieces to the various stages. And that's hard to remember too. Many of these models aren't practical and helpful for the ordinary person, but there's one that I think is really very helpful and it's taken from some somewhat obscure literature in Eastern Orthodox Christianity. So most people don't know about it. So I want to talk about it today, and I think you'll find that it really makes some sense. Now, it's sometimes presented in a way that's hierarchical, that one stage, one aspect builds on the next. But I don't think that's true. I think that these aspects are more cyclical or spiral, and they relate back and forth to each other, that they can't be seen in exclusion of the other, but sort of work together as a whole, that, that there are different aspects of the same kind of experience. And taken together, they represent a balanced approach to spiritual growth and development. As a starting point, let's begin with someone who's had a spiritual experience doesn't matter what that spiritual experience was. Maybe they were at the beach and were caught in awe watching the sunset. Or maybe they witnessed the birth of an infant and were awestruck by that. Or maybe it was a time in prayer or in meditation or some, doing something more traditional. It doesn't matter what it was. But in this spiritual experience, a person has a sense of a new energy, of something awakening in them. And that sense of awakening causes a desire for more, but it also opens them to more possibilities in life. And it's the kind of energy that makes us want to be better people. And that's what's important here, that part of our spiritual growth and development is about becoming better people and setting aside the things that make us sometimes not so good people. Spiritual growth and development is about our own health, development, self-improvement, becoming good people in the world. That's an important aspect of our spiritual growth and development, but that's not all of it. Another aspect, a second aspect, is that as we're growing spiritually, we become more aware of the world around us. So we have that spiritual experience and we begin to see the world in a different way. Maybe the grass seems a little greener or we are more caught up in flowers blooming or watching a squirrel play or birds fly. So there's this natural dimension, but we also have an increasing sense of, of compassion and care for other people. This second aspect of spiritual growth and development has to do with our connection with the world and with people. That as we're growing spiritually, we become more compassionate people, more aware people, that simple things in life take on greater meaning for us. 
and we begin to recognize them as important. So we have two aspects to spiritual growth and development so far. There's that energy that makes us want to be better people, and there's this energy that makes us more connected to the world around us, kind of a natural spirituality, but also that's about compassion for others. The third dimension is the dimension, the third aspect, has to do with what most people think spiritual growth and development is all about. But when you take this aspect of spiritual growth and development and isolate it from the first two I've talked about, then it's not really healthy growth and development. And sometimes this happens in the context of religion. And that can be dangerous, it can be self-preoccupation, it can be a projection of self onto something greater than ourselves. It's imbalanced. But that third aspect has to do with our experience of union and communion with the divine, with spirit, with the transcendent energy, whatever it is you call that that we find ourselves connected with something greater to our, than ourselves, and that in our spiritual practice, we're experiencing union and communion with that divine, with that source. That happens in concert with our desire to grow more and be better people, as well as our increasing awareness of our connection with the world around us, with people and with nature. That connection with the divine, with the source, with spirit is very important, but it's significant that we keep that in perspective. We can never totally exhaust that sense of union and communion. That's because whatever the divine is, whatever spirit is, is infinite. It's greater than we can imagine so that any time we experience a sense of union or communion, we're experiencing a part. We're experiencing, you know, an entryway, but we're not experiencing the whole. And if we think we're experiencing the whole, then we're probably deceiving ourselves. We're probably out of balance. You see, healthy growth and development has to do with balancing all three of these pieces, that it's about growing more as a person, becoming a better person, being better connected with the world around us, with people and with nature, as well as that connection with the divine. It's all three of these pieces working together, and that's really important. Sometimes we have more difficulty with one aspect than another. And when we're having difficulty with a particular aspect, that's probably a good time to talk with a spiritual director to really help discern what's happening for us that's preventing us from really growing in that aspect of this overall sense of spiritual growth and development. If you find that that's happening for you, feel free to reach out to me. I'll talk with you about spiritual direction. You can work with me or I can help you find someone that may be more suitable for you. But don't struggle with it alone. It's important to have healthy growth and development in your life. In the meantime, really think about this model and the three different aspects that becoming a better person, that aspect of feeling more connection and awareness of the world around us and with people, as well as that experience of union and communion. And as you're looking at your life from that paradigm, consider how your growth is, is balanced and full and enriching you. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, share it with others, leave me some comments or questions, and know that I really appreciate the time you spend on Spirituality Beyond Borders. Thanks. Have a really great day.